So question 16 from the practice exam, we're given the information that a two gram sample of peanut butter is placed in a bomb calorimeter, charged with excess oxygen, and then it's placed into two liters of water at 23 degrees Celsius. Um, we also know the heat capacity for that bomb calorimeter. And then after the combustion reaction, the water temperature is determined to be 28 Point two one three degrees Celsius. Determine the number of calories in one serving of this peanut butter. And so one of the challenging things about this question is if you want to think about it, um, we kind of have two things going on here. So we have this container of water, right? So here is our two liters of water. And then in that two liters of water, we put the bomb calorimeter. So the calorimeter is within the water. So both of these things go from 23 degrees to 28 degrees Celsius. So we have to do two calculations to find the energy. Um, but first I wanna find my change in temperature, so my delta T is always final minus initial. So my delta T for this reaction, my final temperature is 28.213 degrees Celsius. My initial 23.75 for a delta T of approximately 4.463 degrees Celsius. Now we need to do two calculations, one for the water, so Q for the water, M, C, delta T, because we're heating the water up. Um, so there's that energy. The Q for the water is, well, 2,000 liter, or two liters is 2,000 milliliters, which is 2,000 grams of water. So 2,000 grams of water, the specific heat of water is 4.184 joules per gram times degrees Celsius, and my delta T is 4.463 degrees Celsius. Do the same calculation for the calorimeter because the calorimeter is within the water, and so the calorimeter is also going through that, except for the calorimeter, we know the heat capacity in kilojoules per degree Celsius. So that equation is C delta T. So the Q for the calorimeter, I don't need the mass, right? Because I just have the heat capacity for that calorimeter. So 3.125 kilojoules per degree Celsius. And the calorimeter goes through a 4.463 degree temperature change. So now I want to multiply those together to get the Q for the calorimeter and the Q for the water. I find the Q for the water to be 37,346 joules. Q for the calorimeter ends up being 13.94 kilojoules. So I can't add them directly here because they are not the same units. Right? I've got joules in one, kilojoules in the other, so I'm just going to convert kilojoules to joules. Right? I know for every one kilojoule, I'm going to have a thousand joules. So the Q for the calorimeter is 13,947 joules. So now I want to find the total, right? And so the total heat is going to be the heat from the water plus the heat from the calorimeter. So I add those together, right? My total is going to add together the 37,000 and the 13,000 to get my total heat of approximately 51,293 joules. And that is 
per two grams of peanut butter. All right, so I would divide that. So 51,293 divided by two, that's gonna give me joules per gram. So I'm gonna have approximately 25,646.5 joules per gram. We know in this serving, right, we wanna find out the energy for a total serving, we know we're gonna have 31 grams in a serving. So my total energy, once I multiply that together, is 79, 795,041.41 joules. That's the total energy in joules in two tablespoons of peanut butter, right? 31 grams of peanut butter. The last thing is we want to find that in calories. Well, I know one food calorie, so capital C calorie, is 4,184 joules. Divide that through, joules cancel out, and we get approximately 190 calories, or 1.90 e to the 2 calories. All right. Don't expect to find a calculation this long on the exam, but it's good to kind of practice those different steps of finding the heat um, that, the, that the water absorbed, the heat that the calorimeter absorbed, right? Because they're both within, they're both together. So they both go through that temperature change and we have to do the calculation for both because they have a different heat capacity for the calorimeter, specific heat for the water Use that to get the total energy that was absorbed. Um, and then the other thing, right, this is the energy that was absorbed by the water. That means that that reaction actually lost that amount of energy. So this should be a negative energy um, in terms of the reaction, the combustion of peanut butter, but that would lead us to have a negative number of calories and we know that that's not true. So calories had to be a positive number there.